Hey, how you doing? Uh, not hey Cooper and you drop. Hey Cooper, hey Charlie. Hey, how you doing? Drop too. Question. It dropped her. I was wondering since she's on a safety plan when she went to the store with those kids, would that get her in trouble? Yeah, that was discussed because uh, she's not, she's, anytime she's with the kids, it has to be somebody's, it has to be supervised. Well, she's not allowed to just have them by herself, period. Yes, because I was, I was, had some kids before and they was under the safety plan and I knew that the parents weren't allowed to take the kids. So when I seen her do it, I was like, oh, she might just get her own self in trouble. Right, right. And he did clear. That was one of the questions I had. Oh, Cooper, you're going to have to pick up your phone or something. You got echo on your bed or, or you must have me on another device or something. You got to like fix that for me. Thank you. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, it'll be like a real bad echo. But now it's, it's hey, better. Hey, Cooper. Hey, Charlie. What's Cooper, up? she said on... Hey, Cooper. Hey, Charlie. Go hey. ahead, boo. Yeah. She said on live that um, if they don't have a court order, she's still walking away with her kids. So what uh, you feel about that? I don't think they're going to uh, let her take her kids. She I said she read think... her rights or something, and she was like, oh, well, yeah. they don't have a court. Until they get a court order, I'm walking away with my kids because they have to have he a court this. order. She said he that on her live with... this morning. Yeah, he knows. Well, when we were in the meeting, she threatened them with the same thing. And just like the lady said, she said, if, if you keep playing games, I will go and snatch your kids out of your care now because CPS has the authority to trump that all all that stuff about legal custody and all that they can stop that all they got to do is go to a judge but the cps worker is trying to work she's trying to help her you see what i'm saying she doesn't want to take all the kids out of the house right she wants you know uh because the thing about it is if she takes all the kids out of the house maybe matthew and maybe the twins might have somebody and possibly hezekiah but what's gonna happen to the rest of the kids that's true. Because that grandma is old. Grandma can't handle all them kids. She ain't no young whippersnapper. Right. You're absolutely right. And then not only that, you know, uh, and I hate to say it, nobody in her family is really trying to step up and be a help to her. You know? So, I don't know. Because I, I can't take care of all the kids. But I could be responsible for the ones I'm responsible for. for. No, you, know? you as you said, you should only be responsible for the ones for the that, that's yours. Period. So, do you know if they're gonna charge Patrick Cooper, or did they speak anything about Patrick? Uh, I I really believe that the Detroit police is taking care of all that, and I have tried to reach out to the detective, but she hasn't got back to me. So, um. And then that's another thing, you know, if he has three children by her, he should have been at the meeting too. But mm -hmm. I don't think he was at the meeting out of, out of fear. I think he's hiding. Mm. That's just my personal. It's something in that phone. You don't believe it's something in that Cooper. How do you really feel about that phone? Now, you know that phone's been confiscated for over two weeks now. Yeah, that's true. Like, you don't so, feel like uh, it's something more to that damn phone? I just know they, they, they searching. Yeah. They really searching. I don't, I don't know what's in the phone. And I don't know what, what she's been doing, but, uh, I got, uh, the law handle everything and sit back and watch. Exactly. Man, this is, it's getting intense and it's just getting started. People thinking, she thinking oh, yeah. it's over. Girl, no, they're prolonging it for a reason. Yeah, they did talk about her recording them on live and they told oh. her, 
that she could be charged with putting that information out there. So they did explain that to her. They said that, you know, uh, the law protects them because they're government workers. And if anything happens to them with her putting that information out, she could get 10 to 15 years for it. But they did warn her. Damn. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Cooper. That was my question, doing? too. I'm glad you answered that. What's up, Lizette? I wanted to ask, I wanted to ask, did you see your son telling her to choke her tonight? You know what? Uh, I was talking uh, to my girlfriend, and she was listening in on the live, and I heard it. I did hear that. Yeah, I did hear that. Yeah, I, I, I didn't get that. And um, I think I she's, she, I think she's trying to make them oh. seem like she's playing with them in between the time of her chastising them too, so they could get it yeah. mixed up, so she could tell them that mm. they was playing. Mm. And that's how they play, cause she's goofy like that to say something. That's how we play. Yeah, and the other is... thing, the other question I had was, how was she always like that when you was with her? Like when y'all was together, was she always like weird, or she she you know, just got like this? Like to be honest with you, uh, I really didn't try to get to know her until uh, like two thousand twenty twenty one, because before then I didn't even know her. So you know when I got the when I was trying to get to know her, and that's when we were supposed to get married, quote unquote. But when I was around her. She was very difficult to deal with at certain times, you know, because she's very controlling. She likes to be in control. She wants to tell everybody what to do. And, you know, it's 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 like it's all about her. So, I mean, when I started seeing stuff like that, I mean, it, she was toxic. I mean, and then by the end, she was already pregnant, so it wasn't nothing I could do about the pregnancy. Yeah. And right. I'm not going to kill my kids. Hey, Cooper. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. How you doing? So, I wanted, I'm glad she asked the question about her previously because I was going to ask that. But, so, Cooper, if that was the case, what made you backtrack if the twins could possibly be yours? Were you in a relationship with your girlfriend? And what made you go back that route? Because there's years in between there. If she was pregnant with Matthew, when you noticed how she was, what made you go back and sleep with her unprotected to possibly have more kids? But just like I was saying, I never really got to know her. I was trying to get to know her. And uh, when I first got around her to get to know her, she seemed like a pretty cool person. You know, um, she seemed all right. But, I mean, it just got to a point where she just turned toxic. She got real controlling. Um she started seeing a lot of crazy stuff, and I—I I don't know. I think I was just blinded, you know. I—I I kept trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, you know. I think the red flags was there, but I think I just ignored it. Yeah, I'm gonna just be honest. Well, what about her parenting? Like, did you see like how did you feel about her parenting previous to you getting her pregnant? Uh, because parenting to me speaks a lot. And I mean, let me say this as well. And coming from a place where I deal with CPS on a regular because I do work in a youth shelter, CPS you. isn't really a good thing for children. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't believe that. I'm going to say I don't I'm not going to say I don't like her. I don't agree with her parenting. She, I feel like she's lazy and she could do way better than what she does. Mm -hmm. But CPS okay. isn't always the good route for it because. Like I said, dealing with CPS every day because I do work in a youth shelter. It's like Land they the just plan, sister. them kids, Land the plan. Mm -hmm. and it's seven of them. So like, if they were to take them, they would be placed all over the place and not knowing what could happen. Everything happened in those homes. People well, get these well, kids that would and be something them you all the time. Tell her, Charlie, because she she. I know that. You know what I'm saying? That's something she she oh. knows. Putting them on on live. You get what I'm saying? But go ahead, Cooper. You can answer the question if you want to. Okay, now, as far as her parenting, I'm not going to say her parenting was super duper or was horrible. But even though it wasn't what I thought her parenting should have been, I thought that it was possible 
that it was room for improvement. You know, I thought maybe I could help her. I could show her some things. But even though I tried to show her some things or give her some things, she was not accepting anything I was giving to her. Because it's with her, it's like it's like her way or the highway. It's no compromise. Mm, Even okay. today, when uh, they decided to let Matthew come stay with me, she came up with all this stuff about how she could not be without waking up seeing him and this and that and the other with him being away from her for a week. That's too long. And uh, she wanted she wants him to uh, send her video chats every day and this and that and the other. And I mean, it just doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? This is the same woman who I took it. my son back. She kept him away from me for a whole month. Mm. So moving forward, after everything is said and done, are you still looking to have Matthew? And if if the, the twins are yours uh, in your custody full time and then you just do visitation with her, what does it look like for you after all this is settled with your kids? Yeah, I mean, if if all this after all this is settled, you know, because I'm gonna do everything in my power to get full custody of my children, but it's, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna keep them away from her. It doesn't mean that I'm uh stop them from seeing their mom. Nothing like that. And even if, if I do get full custody, I'm not even gonna ask for child support. It don't even make no sense to. Shit, but okay. So my question for you, I did have a question. Um. Did she cry? That was the question I wanted to ask you. Cause she made a point. She said she cried in the CPS meeting. Did she cry at any point? Nah, she didn't cry in that meeting. That's the story. She told a bold faced lie and said she cried in the meeting. I, I mean, I don't know unless I, I didn't see her crying. Hmm. I, that shit was so random when she brought that up. I knew that shit wasn't right. What's up, Pumpkin Mom? Well, hey, Cooper, and hello, um, Charlie. Look, um, I'm going to ask you something, Cooper. When dang, sis. Okay. She gonna... if the... Okay, there we go. I spoke to both. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I spoke to both of you yeah. guys. Okay, I was saying, do you think it's good for you to be speaking on this, especially with them having an issue with you coming to the app? You know, especially like, it seems like CPS, they want, they think you are a good person. They really want to take those kids from her because she's not a good mom. But I, it seems right. like they didn't like that you came to the app. I guess speaking on you guys' issues that you are having. So what I'm trying to say is, do you think it's good for you to be speaking about this right now? If that was their concern. Hmm. I don't think it's anything wrong with speaking about this. I don't think it's anything wrong with uh, telling the truth or letting the truth out there. Because she's been telling the story since day one. And I'm not saying anything that's inflammatory. I'm not uh, degrading her. I'm not calling her any whores or any bitches or anything like that. Uh, the only thing I'm on here is just talking about is really just um, the process that is taking me for to get my son and for my son to be safe. So, I mean, if I was being derogatory or if I was trying to like make her out to be a horrible person, I could see that. But I'm not saying anything derogatory. And you got freedom of speech. Yeah. You can speak. You can clear up anything yeah. you want to clear up. You're not saying nothing bad, and you. It's not like you exploiting your kids. So no, nah, it's not like I'm exploiting. And then, and then, and then, for her to come on here and ask me that question, I mean, you could ask her the same question. Hello. Okay, they can really ask her that question. Not really you. She ain't did shit. You just responded. She, she called you on the app. Right. We wouldn't even know who right. Cooper was at the right. Okay. Right. Um, so <laughs> I know this is really ridiculous, but, uh, she claims that on the 17th, when she goes back home, that CPS will send a maid to help her a couple hours a day. Did they discuss that at all in the meeting? <laughs> I know, no. it's just funny even asking that girl crazy. I don't know about a maid, <laughs> but I know they're going to send people to the house every day because mm -hmm. it, it's more of like a monitoring situation. Right. Of course, we know so, better. 
So I don't know about a maid or anything like that. I don't know, but that they 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 are going to help her because I think what the thing of it is, if they, even if they do those kids out of the house, they have to be able to place them. Right. And I know the grandmother can't deal with all those children because that's what they was talking to her about. Even though the kids is in her in the grandmother's care. And she was saying, well, yeah, I'll be there, too. Well, they was like, you should be there. You shouldn't just drop seven kids off on an old woman like that and not be there to help her out. doesn't make any sense. Right. Do they know that she uh, took the kids, like, to her house um, by herself or out on, like, little shopping escapades or whatever? Yeah, I think they are aware of everything because they do. Because all this stuff that's on here is going straight to uh, YouTube. So I, what they're doing is they're going to YouTube and they're watching the video. Yeah, and he did say they brought it up. Um, you remember about the um, the twins being left in the car? You had um, cleared that up that they saw that and they got on her about that in the meeting, y'all. Hello, everybody. Um, Hello, everybody. So Cooper, um, um, Hello. I had a question about the cameras in her house. Do right, you know right. about the cameras in the house? Did that come up in the meeting at all? Because I'm feeling like uh, that that's did, why that DPD in got in that phone because the foot. She used to talk about the footage being on her phone, like she could see the camera camera footage. Do you think that that's something that they would be looking at? Did it come up? I mean, it's possible that wasn't discussed, but um, when I was dealing with her, she never had any cameras inside the house. She had cameras outside the house. Sag, we kick in for comments like that. So I never seen any cameras inside of the house. All her cameras was like, you know, backyard, side door. Here, right. Right. Okay. I'll Don't touch you cut later, him. Oh, oh, you done came up here talking? Shit, finish, Cooper. My bad. So, I mean, as far as her having any cameras in the house, I never saw any cameras in the house unless she got some after I wasn't able to go over there anymore. Mm. Oh God! Interesting. Go ahead, Philly. Oh, okay. Anybody got any questions? Come up in the queue. So, okay. So, any other key points that I need to ask? So, they didn't bring up anything about um anything about the um. You remember the video with the lighter? Um, towards the they didn't bring that up. You remember? Did you know about the video that Patrick? Have brought up a lighter. Yeah, to, that's um, a video. That's a video that I took to the Detroit Police Department, but they really didn't touch on that. Okay. The more so, they touched on uh, the video with Samaya. Uh, what happened to Samaya? And uh, they had a lot of questions for her, like, you know, uh, what did you see? Because she was saying that supposedly he's supposed to have whooped her in the hand with a belt. That's what she said. But I don't know. Seven and Let's figure out your point. The person number seven in the comments. And and hey, uh, hey Charlie, hey Mister uh, Cooper. Um, my thing is, you just said it right when I uh, was coming up about um her saying that he whooped her on her hand. I feel like why is she able to still be around the kids within these seven days? All she's doing is coaching them. Why would they still allow I mean, her to be around? She's still allowed to be around them, but just like I said, if she's around and it has to be supervised. Okay. So she can't, she just can't like take them, say, say like she say, I want to take y'all to the store. She just can't pick them up and take them to the store. It has to be supervised. And that's why they were put in the grandmother's house because the grandmother is supposed to be like, you know, she's like the supervisor. So they don't have a worker supervisor, it's, it's just the grandma? Well, the grandmother is there. How can I explain it? They do have people to come and monitor her, but the kids were released into a family member's care. And that's the one that has to be responsible anything if anything happens to her she's the person that's responsible 
Yeah, I, that's what I was wondering because I just heard her the other day talking about how they went on vacations and they had so much fun and she tried to get the kids involved in talking about the vacation and how much fun they had. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like she's trying to get them to always say something good so they don't bring out something negative. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Pretty much. All right, thanks, guys. She, no problem. Thanks for coming she, up. She on point. Shit, pretty much. That's what she doing. No shade. She trying to make it seem like she living a fairy tale, like everything is cool. It's too late for that. Hey, hey Charlie, how you doing, baby? Hey. Hey, hey, Albert. I came up here and spoke with you again. One thing I can say is that we are going to need you to advocate for those kids because the reality is she is conditioning those kids, okay? The grandmother is a, is older, okay? So, and, and you, we don't know that her, uh, her history where she came up with her parents and her grandmother and whatever else not. But what I will tell you, though, fight for your son and help them kids out, like, for real, because they don't deserve that. You hear me? He is, babe. I think he definitely know. He definitely doing what he needs to do. I don't think you, do you hear him? I mean, I ain't being funny, babe, but. Do you hear him? Because he's definitely saying that. Basically saying that. Look. But I get you. Hey, Charlie, can you hear me? What's, mm -hmm. What's up? Hey, Cooper. Hey, Angels. I was uh, wanted to know that in the CPS meeting, did anything come up about their school attendance or school period? Because those kids have missed more school than anything, like, this whole year. And mm -hmm. ain't no telling what they did last year. Good That's question. What I to know. Good yeah. question. Uh, they did talk about it, but uh, she was saying... From what she told them is that she's been taking them to school. That's what, what? she said. What the fuck? This bitch is a liar. We you know, like we all witness these kids be at home twenty four seven with her, never going to school, and she teaching them a half ass Hebrew Israelite shit. But yeah, Cooper, you you doing your big one, you know what I'm saying? And you are very much supported over here with the angels. Thank y'all. Thank you. I appreciate your encouragement. Did she really lie like that? Cooper, how much time you got left? Because it's, it's some few more people in the queue. Like, I don't know if you got time. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, cool. If y'all got questions, he said you got time. So. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Cooper. Thank you for letting me up. Uh, Cooper, I just want to say, how's the grandmother being a supervisor? And she said the grandma works because she was trying to get somebody to babe, uh to babysit the twins while she went to the meeting today. And my second point is, if uh, Samaya so got beat with a belt. What kid's gonna hold their hand? Now, all them licks was not no hand, and if so, her hand would have been swollen. So that would have been obvious abuse right there. And that's all I want to say. Thank you. Yeah, you know uh, that's a good question because that that was discussed about because she did tell them that her grandmother goes to work works in the morning in, in the daytime and. Um, that was brought up in the meeting. But uh, just like I said, she's not supposed to have, she can't have those kids without somebody being around. So that's pretty much what the safety plan is. So they didn't say, they and, didn't uh, say anything about like where the kids go when the, when the grandma's at work? Like, how does that work? That really never came up. They just told her that she's not allowed to take those children to her house. And if she's around them, it has to be somebody with some, it has to be some supervision. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Let me switch. I'm I'm still here. Hold on. Let me switch devices because my phone finna. I don't even know if they're allowed to go to the grandfather's house. That's another good question. Wait, uh, um, Cooper, come back up. Y'all drop. Oh, Shook, you got a question? Yeah, I wanted to tell him. To, okay, he's still there? Mm hmm Okay, cool. So, um, Dad, I don't know how long you've been doing Bigo and stuff like that. Dad. But 
for those of us who really been watching people on Beagle, you have to get your baby because now that she got this relationship with these enablers, she's not going to never stop going live. She's never going to choose her kids over this app. It's not going to happen. Right. Right. I agree with you. I agree. I think she's, uh, she's chat. She's cloud. Chasing. Right. Okay. Y'all come in the queue. If y'all got any questions, if y'all want to talk to him. Hey, I have another question. Did they mention mm -hmm. substance abuse or her failing any drug tests or anything of that sort at all? But she definitely nah, gives that... me dibble and dabble vibes. No, nah, that didn't actually, that didn't, nah, they didn't bring that up at all. I mean, they, just like I said, they could see all the videos. They, just like they said, they've been on YouTube and they've been watching the video. So they're aware of everything that's been going on. Okay. Even though marijuana is legal in Detroit, you're not supposed to smoke weed in front of your children. No, and let's be honest, she is sh weed, please. Lots of us smoke ganja. I don't know, I wasn't talking about no weed, but thank you for answering my question. And again, I wish you the best. Good luck. But is she on something stronger than weed? Tell me. Hello, Charlie. Hello, um, Mr. Cooper. I just wanted to touch on like the hygiene of the kids because I know they were only taking like a shower maybe oh, like once every week. Um, like, are they like have better hygiene and stuff like that? Whether at the grandma's house, because I do remember Matthew saying one time he wanted to bathe and she wouldn't allow them to bathe and stuff because she didn't want to wash all those clothes for seven kids and things like that. Right. Um, I don't know if if I answer that question, I would really just be assuming. Um. I would just be assuming, so I really can't answer that question. Um, Cause uh, when he comes to me, and she brings my son to me, I mean, it, it, it's it could be very. Sometimes he could look real presentable, and sometimes he could, he cannot look so presentable. So it's so so. Okay, so someone um, made a point about to me to ask this question. They said. Um, why won't they press charges on Patrick? Or do you think that would come up eventually? Or you don't I, think it would get to that point? It's probably in the works. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not... I know the CPS is working with the Detroit Police Department. But uh, it's probably in the works. And I really... I, I don't know what the answer to that question is. But I, th I think it's in the works. Because... Uh, that video was pretty compelling when he took that phone, when he took that lighter to my son's groin. Yeah, that was crazy. Hold on, let me add. Okay, it's a lot of people in the queue. My bad, y'all. I'm just. And then that's a, a good that's a good question too because why he didn't show up to the meeting? He had just as much right to be there as I had a right to be there. Okay, next person. Two cents, you're next. With Jules, you're next. Hey, thank you, baby. <laughs> I just want to say, and you're, and you're absolutely right. You, you're you absolutely right. And I agree with everything that you said. And I want to, I just want to make this clear. I congratulate you again. You feel me? For doing what you have to do for your, for your baby and all the rest of them babies. But the reality is that, that man whoops Amaya on her ass. We heard the skin. He was whooping her on her ass. That girl cried like she was getting a holy hell beat up out of her. Like he was beating on her mama at one time. Let's be clear. Yeah. I agree with that. Hey, y'all. So, Cooper, did you see the video when the school called Angelic about Matthew missing 30 days of school? Oh, my God. No, I didn't oh, see yes. that video. Oh, yes. That's like, that was from like last month. Yeah, I remember that. The school oh, called her and they said that, okay, I'm, I'm going to look for it on YouTube. I was in the live when that happened. 
she was saying that uh, Matthew missed 30 days of school and she said it's because of some domestic with Patrick. Shouldn't that affect her getting her kids saying that's how he missed a month of school? You know, that's a good question. But I think I think they're going to look at every avenue of it. But I think I think the biggest problem is. And I, I have to keep reiterating this, even if they do take them children out of the house, I think the problem is, is with them not wanting to separate them. Can they really keep the remainder of the children together and put them in placement someplace? Because uh, if they don't have. If she doesn't have the support of her family, then that that that's a whole nother ball game. Whole nother ball game. Mm -hmm. Mind your business. Both I need a first. Hi, Love Charlie. Us. Hi. God bless Wait. everyone. I wanted to know if they asked about in the video of the little boy said that the other child was touching on him. Yeah, that, 